Before we begin, I just want to say thank you so much for your interest in learning more about leading an adult guided tour. We have thousands of people come through our doors each year and interest is definitely picking up more and more with our adult guided tours. So we are in desperate need of more docents for those tours. So again, I just want to say thank you so much. First, I'm just going to go over some logistics. Um, please make sure that you arrive at least 15 to 20 minutes before the scheduled arrival time of the group. This allows you enough time to check in at the front desk, um, to meet with a staff member who's going to let you know where the tour will start, and then you and staff members and any other docents that are helping out with the tour can talk about who is going to start where. Typically with a larger group tour, we have the group divided into two to three smaller groups. So it's important to coordinate with everyone to know who's going to start where. And each docent will have no more than 12 to 15 guests with them at a time. These are some of the things that will be provided to you when you are going to give a tour. We ask that all adult tour docents wear a voice amplifier. Um, you'll be provided some quick facts and that's just um, a clipboard with sheets of paper with more information about each of the garden spaces. You are not expected to memorize all of the things that I'm going to talk about in this slideshow. So you will get um, a paper that you have to reference. I always take mine with me. Um, you will also get maps and coupons to give to the guests that are in your group specifically. One of the things that we will touch base on when you first arrive to the gardens is group arrival. Um, depending on the group and um, their mobility or the group size, we either will have groups enter through the east gate or through the main entrance. Um, this is where we'll greet the group together and a staff member will process their payment. So again, you do not have to worry about taking care of payment as a docent. Um, and front desk will help assist with special requests like wheelchairs or scooters. Um, it's just helpful for us if you as a volunteer docent help guests find the bathrooms or direct them to the gift shop if they have questions or just um, answer some general location questions, and then once all of the guests are ready to begin, we will do introductions together. What you share in your introduction to the group um, really can be as simple or as detailed as you'd like. Just greet the group, welcome them to Raymond Gardens, um, introduce yourself, and then let them know what your role is. Um, if you want to share anything else about like your background or um, share a favorite garden space, that is definitely something that you can include in your introduction as well. But as you walk around with your group, you know, it's those things kind of come out naturally. So this um, introduction to the entire group can be pretty brief. There are a couple of objectives that we want to make sure that we hit for our adult guided tours. Um, and those would be Ryman Gardens annual theme. Every year we have a theme. Um, for example, for 2023, our theme is light and reflection. For 2024, our theme is going to be living landscape. Um, so just talking about that a little bit, um, sharing our mission at, of Ryman Gardens, which is to educate and chant and inspire an appreciation of plants, insects, and the beauty of the natural world. Sharing anything special that's happening at the garden. So depending on what time of year it is, um, maybe the roses are really in bloom at this time of year, or maybe the garden art fair is happening this coming weekend. Just sharing those kinds of things with guests, and then also sharing just a basic history of the gardens. But then anything else that you want to share on your tour is wonderful. Guests love to hear really anything special that you have to share. So everyone has their own area of expertise. And so just knowing that going in, that guests are going to enjoy the things that you have to share with them. Probably the most important thing to remember is that it's not as scary as it sounds. Um, definitely try to encourage your group to share comments and observations. I think it's great when I'm giving a tour and a guest will share something 
um, that maybe a specific planting made them think of, or they're sharing something more about their interest, and it can really get great conversation going. So, and definitely encourage things like that. It's okay to not like stick to a specific script. That's not what we want. We want you to feel comfortable to um, share your personal stories too. Guests want to hear them, especially if you are a volunteer and you work in the gardens. Um, maybe you want to share with them about bulb planting and how that happens every fall and your role in that, or you want to share about um, how you help out in the conservatory. Guests want to hear those things. Um, and it's important to make it your own. Um, no two docents lead the same type of tour, and I think that that's a wonderful thing. I, I don't think that it should be the same across the board. Definitely, you have creative control here. So share the things that you think are important and and if you are having a good time, the guests that you are leading through the tour will also have a good time. I shared this previously, but I just want to go over what our mission is at Ryman Gardens. So our mission has changed a little bit. One of the words is different. So if you were a docent Prior to this training, you might notice the change, but our current mission is to educate, enchant, and inspire an appreciation of plants, insects, and the beauty of the natural world. All of our adult tours have the same stops. So we like to take guests through the butterfly wing, through the conservatory, through the Jones Rose Garden, and through the herb garden, or the children's garden, depending on if there is time. Um, the reason that the children's garden is in italics is because um, that is another garden space that is close by. I always like to bring my group to the children's garden because it's my favorite garden space and I like to talk about all of the programming that we do there. So it's up to you um, what other spaces you want to bring your group to. This will also be a part of the discussion that you have with staff and other docents before the tour starts. Um, the gift shop is always the last stop. Um, when the tour starts, you will be giving all of your guests in your group a map and a coupon for the gift shop. So that is always the place that we like to drop them off at the end of the tour so that they're able to look through the gift shop before they you know, go to lunch or do some self-guided expo exploration in the gardens with their group. So that is always where we end. The tour total time should be about 45 minutes to an hour. So this is just an example of what a schedule could look like when you're giving a tour. Let's say your first stop is the butterfly wing and then your second stop would be the conservatory, and then your last stop would be any of the outdoor garden spaces. Again, we have about an hour to hit all of the spaces that we saw on the previous slide, so that would make each tour stop about 15 to 20 minutes, including transition time, meaning time it takes to walk to those different spaces. Um, if we have a larger group, all docents are going to be rotating through those three different spaces. So it's important to keep track of time when you are giving your tour. So just as a reminder, every group ends the tour at the gift shop. So even if you were in a garden space outside, you want to bring the guests back into the main building and bring them towards the entrance. So if they want to, they can use their coupon that they received at the beginning of the tour. Um, you can let guests know that all of the proceeds from the gift shop go directly back to the gardens. Um, please make sure to thank the group for coming to Ryman Gardens for a tour. And if you have time, you can let guests know that you'll stick around for a while after the tour to answer any questions. Myself and any other staff member would also be up there too to answer any questions that the guests have.